Welcome to Shooter's World. This brief video presentation will help acquaint you with our facilities, rules, policies, and procedures. First, let's go over the four basic rules of firearm safety. Number one, treat all firearms as if they're loaded. Safety and diligence are the responsibilities of every shooter. The moment you stop paying attention is the moment an accident can and will happen. Number two, never point a firearm at anything that you're not willing to shoot or destroy. Make sure the firearm is pointed in a safe direction at all times. Number three, keep your trigger finger straight and off the trigger until your sights are on the target and you're ready to shoot. Firearms don't discharge by themselves. They discharge when someone pulls the trigger. So your trigger finger is your most important safety. And number four, be sure of your target, what's in line with it, and beyond it. Even though your rounds are aimed at the target, they may still be traveling in an upward or downward direction, so always be aware of where your rounds can go once fired. If you wish to bring in Class 3 items, you must check in the items and matching tax stamps at the range counter prior to shooting. Any Class 3 item without the tax stamp will be removed from the store immediately. Minors under the age of 18 must be accompanied by a parent and or legal guardian at all times while on the range. Shooter's World prohibits the following items on its range facility. Food or other consumables, beverages of any type, tobacco products, e-cigarettes, and vaporizers. Range safety officers are present to ensure the safety of everyone on the range. Shooters must obey the range master and range safety officers at all times. Range staff has the right to inspect all firearms, ammunition, and equipment as they deem necessary. And the range master and range safety officers reserve the right to eject any patrons from the range found to be in violation of the rules or policies. Any customers ejected from the range are ineligible to receive a refund for range fees. If you have any questions that come up pertaining to the range itself or our policies and procedures, just ask a member of the range staff for clarification. And if you're renting a gun from us and you're not familiar with it, or you're not familiar with your own gun, please ask for help. We'll be happy to give you assistance. So let's go and review some of the other range rules. Depending on the range, rules are posted in various locations. All ranges should require both ear and eye protection to be worn at the range at all times. And for additional protection, we recommend both ear plugs and ear muffs. And while on the range, make sure the people around you are wearing their ear and eye protection. It's everyone's responsibility. Either the front desk or your range safety officer will tell you where to shoot. So come on, let's have some fun. Well, this is a hot range, so when you walk in, you should expect people to be shooting. When we uncase a firearm, the first thing you want to do is check which way to see the firearm is pointed. In this case, it's actually not pointed down range, so I'm going to take an opportunity now to turn the entire basket around. So I haven't actually touched the firearm, but it's now pointed down range. I'm going to take the gun out of the bag with the muzzle pointed down range and keep my finger off the trigger. In this case, the first thing I'm going to do is take the magazine out since it's a semi-automatic then lock the slide back if it's not already. I'm going to check in the magazine well and in the chamber itself to make sure nothing is in there. Now, when setting the gun on the bench, be sure to keep the barrel pointed downrange with the ejection port up and the slide is locked back. Now let's go over the same thing with the revolver. Make sure it's pointed in a safe direction. I'm going to pull it out with my finger off the trigger. Now I'm going to press the cylinder release button, make sure that it's empty, and I'm going to put it on the table with the cylinder out and the barrel facing downrange and we'll be ready to go. Back here at the range, when it's time to replace your target, remember to keep it centered left to right and at eye level. That way you won't shoot at the floor, the ceiling, or at your neighbor's target. And when unloading or reloading your firearm, remember to keep your gun pointed directly downrange. Directly downrange means parallel to the floor and parallel to the walls. While on the range, be aware of your surroundings at all times. If you witness an unsafe act, immediately contact the range safety officer on the range. Wait for the range safety officer to assess the situation and follow their instructions. Once the range has been deemed safe, the range safety officer will call the range hot at which time shooters may resume firing. If you drop anything forward of the firing line, do not try to retrieve it. Ask a range safety officer for assistance.
Shooting with your friends and sharing your firearms with them is one of the most fun things to do with the range. Before we change shooters, I'm going to actually make sure the gun is fully unloaded with the action open and I'm going to keep the ejection port straight up. Then I'm going to fully step out of the booth and let my friends step in. That's some really nice shooting. Can I give it a try? Thanks, give it a shot. All right, let's do it. If your party is occupying more than one lane and you wish to shoot another patron's gun, leave your weapon on the bench with a magazine removed and the action open before physically moving to another lane to shoot the weapon in that stall. Do not move firearms from one lane to another. Handoffs of loaded firearms are not permitted. When preparing to leave the range, be sure to follow all the safety rules that we've discussed. First, with your finger off the trigger and the barrel pointed down range, unload your firearm by removing the magazine, lock the slide to the rear, and be sure to check that the chamber is clear. Now you're ready to put your firearm in your basket, case, or bag. Now you're ready to exit the range. Do not remove your eye and ear protection until you've completely exited the area. Just because you're done shooting doesn't mean that everyone else is. If you borrowed eye and or ear protection from Shooter's World, please return them in the bins located next to the outer door of the exit airlock. Thank you for your time and attention. And as always, we thank you for choosing Shooter's World.